Hi everybody, so to start off with, this is the brush that I'm using. This is Airbrush Tape Zoid 40%. And you have to do a little bit of settings here and there. Just go to Fade and decrease the thickness of the end and also decrease the opacity of the end as it was too thick and it was just too much, okay? So why we did this setting is because whenever we are going to draw these hair strokes, we want to make sure the ends are thinner and also less pigmented and lighter so once that setting is done what you have to do you have to play around with the size of the brush and create or start drawing the hair strokes in whichever shape you want like the way i'm doing right here in this video i kind of i am switching back and forth between small size brush and bigger size brush as well once you're happy with that shape create another layer place it underneath the layer where we created the hair strokes and now decrease the opacity of the brush and just fill in all the gaps you see um, between the hair strokes that you drew just really lightly do not put much pressure now create another layer above all of the layers and change the layer mode to add and now decrease the size of the brush so that when you are drawing the hair strokes they are really thin and the reason why i changed the layer mode to add is because i wanted to make these hair strokes appear lighter in color so whenever i'm painting hair over procreate i usually use luminance brush if you if you use procreate you'll know what i'm talking about but because we don't really have such brush set um on ice paints what you can do to make any brush or any color for that matter pop out or luminance is to just change the layer mode to add or color dodge now once i was happy with that i went ahead and picked up smudge brush and i started smudging the starting points of the hair strokes and also uh, went over all of the hair strokes really lightly make sure the opacity is really really low of the smudge brush because you don't want to smoothen everything out just make sure the opacity is really low before you start doing that now i created another layer and now we are gonna start highlighting the hair which is like the most important part just to make the hair look more realistic and natural so as you guys can see what i did is i actually changed the layer mode to add and i'm using the same color but this time around i decrease the size of the brush and i'm actually sticking to the same kind of opacity here and i started adding these highlights in the shape of hay strokes and that's you that's what you want to do even when you are smudging those highlights make sure you are smudging it in a shape of a hair stroke so that it actually blends with the whole hair chunk and i actually go back and forth and create two layers or not two layers just i kind of went back and added more highlights on that hair chunk and again as you guys can see i am actually drawing those in a hair stroke kind of shape so that it merges with the whole hair chunk so you have to do the same thing with whichever shape you're creating or whatever hairstyle you're creating make sure your highlights in that same exact shape so that's what i did here now the last step is to create another layer place it underneath all of the layers you have and pick up a darker version of the color that you use to create all of this and just use that color to fill all the gaps in as your base color and that's what i did here and when what i did after this is just to make it a little darker i changed the layer mode to multiply multiply darkens the color that you have placed in that specific layer i also decreased the opacity to 50 percent i duplicated the same layer and changed that layer mode that with that duplicated layer to normal and again decreased the opacity just to kind of balance the base color of that hair chunk and here you go you are done with it i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial Give it a try. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see that. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.